So it's sort of a positive feedback loop. The more you can support me, the easier this will get. Hello, Internet. This is Jody Bruchon. You might have watched my channel and seen a bunch of videos about a bunch of different things that have no real coherence, no overriding theme. There's really a lot of random on my YouTube channel and on my websites. It's, it's pretty much all over the place, not gonna lie. So I've done a lot of thinking, um, gone through a bit of a early midlife crisis, if you will, um, trying to decide what I'd like to ultimately be doing. Here's what I've come up with. I would like to be able to write open source software and I would like to have people pay me to do so. But not just some open source software someone hires me to do because they've established a company to do so. I'd like to work on the open source software that I created, that I would really like to flesh out and make more useful to more people. The problem is, of course, you still gotta pay the bills. And one of the things that I've been contending with is that Basically, it's a hobby. It's a hobby that I don't have a lot of spare time at this point to really do, but I would like to be doing it full time. So, working on open source software that I created and that I made better, being my ultimate goal at this point, I would like to ask you to consider please going to my subscribe star. There will be a link below in the description of this video and sign on as one of my contributors. The more money I make on a monthly basis, the less time I have to spend doing a real job, and more time I can spend in front of the computer working on the code that does the cool things that the code does. I have a couple of different tools available. You can go to jodybruchon.com slash software if you'd like, all, like to see all of the different things that I've worked on. One of the biggest is called JDupes. It's a duplicate file finder for Linux, Windows, and Mac OS, and it finds duplicate files at the command line. I'm working on a new tool now, which was partly inspired by someone literally asking me to make it, but also my own needs, called Treezy, which is a combination of tree and easy, referring to directory trees. See, there are tools out there at the command line to do things like calculate disk usage for a particular folder or to show a bunch of different folders and how much space each of them uses relative to the other. But these tools are fairly simplistic. There's not a lot of sophistication and you can't gather the kind of statistics that I really would like to be able to gather. Furthermore, one of the focuses of my tools in general has been to stick to programming them in C, um, avoiding things like C++, avoiding external libraries. I like to make tools that are extremely simple, self-contained, fast, um, minimal as far as the amount of memory and CPU used. I like to make software that's lean and mean, that has a purpose and does that purpose well and doesn't require a lot of complexity to do so and isn't difficult for other people to grab and build and work on on their own. This is a little bit different from today's most, uh, you know, the most common philosophy with software, which seems to be, oh, you need to do this one thing. We'll see if there's a library out there that'll do it for you. I don't like to rely on external libraries. I prefer to be able to have that within my code itself. And my phone won't stop going off, probably because I'm trying to do a video. So, uh, rule number one, mute your damn phone. Um, so as far as this open source push goes, <clears throat> what I'm looking for is to be able to replace my current income from my computer repair and video production companies with income from people who subscribe to be my patrons on Subscribestar and other services, which I'll add later. Um, I may add PayPal donation options and so on. There are several different ways to do subscription-based funding of people who create things you like. One of the other things that I have gotten into is educational videos, and I've not done a lot of them, but they've all really 
the actual educational ones that are successful have been related to software. For example, even though it's been a long time since I released it, uh, the GIMP HDR tutorial that I made is by far the most popular and most consistently highly viewed video in the entire collection of videos I've ever made. My GIMP usage videos, my GIMP tutorials, have proven more successful than a lot of the other stuff that I've done. So I see that there is a market for some videos that help people learn how to use this open source software in addition to just having the software exist. So my proposition is really twofold. I would like to write open source software. I would also like to produce videos that help people use open source software. So I guess I'm jumping in on the educational videos as it relates to computers um, in addition to the software push. And that's basically it. My software is in most major Linux distribution repositories at this point, particularly JDupes. Uh, my new utility will probably also find that sort of wide distribution because it fills a hole that really doesn't seem to be filled by much, particularly on the command line. Um, in the future, I'd also like to put some GUI wrappers, um, graphical wrappers around the software but that's something to be done once the software itself is more mature, which I need more time to do. So it's sort of a positive feedback loop. The more you can support me, the easier this will get, and the quicker my software can develop, and I won't have to worry about, you know, where the rent or the next month's meal or whatever will come from. Um, if this thing blows up enough, to where my basic needs are met plus enough to make sure that I'll live relatively comfortably. Um, I will be able to ditch my professional offices entirely and, you know, cut my expenses, which means even more of my time can be devoted to just doing this software stuff. If you don't want to give money or you can't give money or whatever, the other thing that you can do to help me out is to just let people know about my software work. Let people know that these tools exist and that if they have a minimal amount of command line knowledge, they can use them. I would like to make tutorials to show people, here's how you can use my software, even if you don't really know what you're doing at the command line. Here's a tutorial on how to use JDupes for Windows to find duplicates that you've downloaded or that you've pulled off of your camera or whatever. I'm really bad at video endings. I just don't like for the video to end. Have you noticed that? I just, I don't like to end videos because I feel like there's always more to talk about. But at some point, you just have to shut up and work. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna shut up and work. Take care and thank you. Here's to 2020.